I've learned from experience that the place to save lives is in the field. Not an office. And sometimes, the only way to save a life is to take one. All right, back at it again with another guide, Rainbow Six. This time we're covering Doc, three armor, one speed defender. Um, Gustav Kateb, representing GIGN, um, coming out of France. Going through the guns, his ability, and my personal preferences. Does use the MPD stim pistol. But on his primaries, he has the shotgun, the SGCQB pump action. Um, this comes with the reflex, the holographic, and the red dot for sights, in case you want to use one. I just use the reflex here. Um, it has vertical grip, and you can also put the laser on it, which I'll show here. Um, the grip is a must. You might as well have it. The laser, if you can not get caught using the laser, sure, I guess it works, but not my fan. I'm not a fan of it. MP5. The bread and butter submachine gun. Um, manageable recoil, and if you can manage it, it's a deadly gun. Um, the red dot, the holographic, the reflex, and the ACOG. Um, ACOG obviously has preference here. I mean, it's always the ACOG, right? In the barrels, you got the suppressor, the flash hider, and the muzzle brake. I don't always use the suppressor. I use it here, but if I'm going to peek, I use the flash hider. Um, in the grips, you have the vertical grip once again. If you have it, you might as well use it. I don't use the laser at all. <laughs> I don't think about any gun. Um, and then also you got to have yourself a little Doc Chibi. Um, last part, I'm not a fan of this gun, but the P90 submachine gun. Um, I recommend if you can't use the MP5's recoil, use the P90. Um, but you have the red dot, the holographic, the reflex, and the ACOG. I don't know why, but the ACOG sits funny on this gun. So I'm not a fan of it. Um, I do use the extended barrel, which is a unique attachment in the barrel section. Um, it extends the range. Provides the damage over long distance range, which is pretty good. Um, then obviously it does has no grip, but it does have a laser sight. Using gadgets, yay! P9 GIGN 9 millimeter handgun. My favorite pistol for Doc. Got the suppressor and the laser sight. I only use the suppressor. Pretty sure you get another barrel too. Uh, the LFP 586 Magnum. It's like a truck. Recoil is horrible. Reload time is horrible. No, I'm not a fan. Not a fan of it. Um, gadgets. You have the bulletproof camera. Says it all. Can't shoot it. Um, can be disabled by Thatcher. So be careful with that. Um, and lastly, you have the always famous barbed wire. <laughs> um, slows out attackers. It's very good. Also good for sounds. You hear people walking through it. That's it for it. Alright, so we're going to go over the MPD stem pistol. Um, so when you use it normally on yourself, other defenders, or attackers, ironically, you heal them for 40 health per hit. Um, as you can see here, the highest you can ever get is 140, no matter how many times you do it, just the way it's going to work. Um, some of the uses is reviving teammates. Um, in this case, I'm going to revive the hostage from afar. This was makes Doc really dope. Boom. So you just shoot him with it, same thing if it was a teammate, and it picks him up. You guys can get back into the fight. Um, quick tip too. Reviving with the same pistol only takes 2.75 seconds compared to the 4 seconds for normal pickups. Here I'm going to go down. And one unique ability about the doc is he heals himself. Now unlike normal pickups where you get 50 health. When you revive with doc using his pistol, you get 75 health. So as long as you, know, you trade and you go down and they go down, you can pick yourself back up. And keep fighting, which allows me in this scenario to finish the terrorist hunt. And it looks like I didn't even really get hurt the whole time. Nailed it. <laughs> 